And away they go. Ian Schubert, the captain of the Western Suburbs side, gets them away. The ball being taken there by Daryl Williams, the uh, fullback for the Manly Warringah side. And a very strong breeze, as far as I'm aware, blowing from uh, behind the Western Suburbs side, confirming that Graham Hughes. Yes, it was uh, blowing, in fact, the other direction earlier in the afternoon. I don't know what time the two uh, skippers made the toss. Uh, Manly Moringa there, uh, obviously, the way the Western Suburbs kicked off, Manly, of course, winning the toss and uh, deciding to run against the breeze. I don't know if uh, the toss decision was made there before this wind changed around. Very, very strong, very blustery conditions. Definitely worth six to eight points. And a magnificent day, more attuned, really, to the, uh, the beach than uh, playing rugby league. Ball's gone downfield, it's gone to uh, the wing three-quarter out there on the right wing, Steve McCoy, who's a pacey little article and gets himself around the field in all sorts of positions. So West just inside their own half. There's Tronk coming up. He's a replacement player, handled there well by Michael O'Connor, the head-on tackle. There's McCoy running again from dummy half. And a very, very warm welcome for a first to Arby and to Wagga. The first time they're taking the uh, telecast of the Sydney Rugby League live down there in the Riverina district and uh, we welcome them to the telecast. And a magnificent kick's just been put in by Western Suburbs. Williams, see the way the ball's holding up in the breeze. Petherbridge runs onto it well. He's got support on the outside, he can't bust the tackle. It's Shearer around his legs, Hasler over the top with Ronson. Eight metres into the Manly quarter. There's Allenson again, made a good break. He's right through the middle. spring heel runner, this fella. Hasler's right round his legs. Fella, Bilberger. Got a beautiful pass away, but it's gone to ground. Was the player held before he was yes? The referee, Mr Stone, has ruled that uh, Cogger there was held. And this is a much simpler kick directly in front. There's the pass getting away. And uh, it was uh, Martin Meredith who was the player responsible on the uh, State Bank replay for interfering with the player before the pass had come to him. Directly in front, a quarter out. That looks okay. The Western Suburbs on the board here at Arana Park, and they lead Manly by two points to nil. Am I uh, being a little bit uh, too uh, adulatory on uh, our friend Brokenshire? But I do like his tackling technique. He's right round the thighs and in hard. Adulatory. I just go through the dictionary I'll that I've got. I'll give you the right rose the a little later on. But do you like the way he tackles? Well, he does. He. The one thing that I don't like, though, is the way that he's making himself a nice, easy mark for Ian Freeman. Very just running straight up. What he's got to do is try and find a find find a run to the side of. Yes, uh, he's got to try to run at gaps. But uh, exactly uh, right. Anyway, here's Morton running at a gap and making a bit of an inroad about five metres. It seems a bit trite to say it, but there are t far too many footballers run at people rather than run at holes. Williams, the fullback, can't get a pass away. He does get a one now to Meredith. Meredith with a nice step. He's got pace. He's going well. He's got a good step and he's two metres out. Petherbridge combined there with Schubert to put him down. Now Manley hot on attack. It's only the first tackle. Out they pump it to Cochrane. Cochrane looking for support. Can't do anything. Weaves his way back. He's evaded one tackle on the stretch and another two metres out. It was a good, very positive run by him. Out to Hassel, the long floating pass out to O'Connor. O'Connor's got it in there to Shearer. Shearer's in for the try. Oh, what clever football there from Michael O'Connor. Just caught the pass, delivered it in one action. Very much like the great rugby union player before him that played rugby league so successfully, John Brass. See it again on the replay. Hasler threw the long cutout pass. It was about 25 metres long. Went to O'Connor, just caught it and gave it beautifully. Lean it away, and Shearer, with his great pace, continuing in his try-scoring mode, goes in for the first Manly Moringa try. Graham Hughes. Coming against the run of play, this Western Suburbs enjoying all the early action in this game. Good backline play. Good ball from O'Connor. A great long ball from Hasler, though, that picked out two of the West defenders. And Shearer continuing his great try-scoring form at the moment. He scored three last week against Penrith. The kids are banging the tin. He strikes it. Looks good. Looks great. And it's over the black dot. So from the sideline, Cochrane raises Manley's score to six and the Western Suburbs side two. I am astonished sometimes at the way Hasler can power with his lightweight looking frame directly through forward defence. Uh, I believe he must be enormously powerful even though he's built on rather slim lines. Williams with a kick downfield, taken by Allenson. Doesn't, uh, they didn't take any prisoners there. Daly was uh, over the top of him. Shivered. 
to Petherbridge, drops it behind him. Up to Cogger, then to Naden, uh, to Davis. Hasler trying to steal the ball. West 10 metres inside their own quarter. Scott Tronk, Brisbane player, gets to the halfway line. 6 2 the score in Manly's favour. Fella running from Dummy Hart, but it was good defence there. Barclay was the man. Cogger, Davis, well picked up Gale. A long cutout pass. It's gone to Naden. Naden's on the stride. He's moving fast. Gets a good pass back on the inside to Petherbridge. Petherbridge to Allison. It's picked up by Davis, and the referee's going to roll forward. In and out the Western Suburb side. Little Davis got a pass to Nate. Can he score? Borton's there. It's going to Allenson. Allenson's trying to go hard. He might get up and score. He is. It's a good one. Allenson in the corner. He was not to the ground, but not held and tapped a legitimate try. And a good one. The little fellow Coggett in a scurry. Got the pass away nicely to Nate, who was into a gap. Showed a clean pair of heels, got it to Allenson. Now, this is where the uh, problem arose for Manly. Ronson got to him, but couldn't hold him. There were two other defenders, knocked each other out of the way, and Allenson had the, the forethought to come over and get that ball over the line before he hit the corner post. Again, from a head-on shot, the pass from uh, Cogger was a beauty to Naden. Ronson did affect the tackle, but was then knocked really out of the way by the two Manly players who collided. And there he is, scoring the legitimate try. Good one. So Western Suburbs now have come right back into it. There it goes, it's curving, and it's over. Schubert from the sideline. They've put the Western Suburbs magpies in front here at Arana Park, and they lead by eight points to six. And there's a dreadful kick, failing to find touch with a wind at the back. West have had four straight penalties. Williams runs it back to the corner. Meredith, very involved with the game, away to Vorton. There's a penalty against West for failure to get back to five yards. Cochran now three metres inside the quarter and only about ten metres off centre. He strikes that straight and true, so the score's coming up towards half-time. A level at eight all. That's a try each and two goals each. Eight metres into Western Suburbs half, directly in the middle of the field. Hasler. Very strong run from the little fella. Got a pass away beautifully to Ronson, and Ronson's going to score the try. He's going to go around. Well, he didn't go around as far, perhaps, as he could have. But there was a very score, a fine try initiated by Hasler. Well, that one's not successful. The score remains 12 to 8. OK, the scrum just inside the Manly corner. 12-8 the score. Manly leads. Two tries to one and two goals each. Hasler's in possession, had the ball stripped from him. Western Suburbs come up with it, Cogger's there. It's a dangerous one. Out to Craig Ellis, the pass has been thrown along the ground, but it's Manly inside the five, and it'll be a penalty kick to Western Suburbs. Schubert just outside the quarter, about 23, four metres in from the sideline, kicking into the breeze. It's a good looking kick, and it's over. So that score sets that fraction closer again. Manly 12, Western Suburbs 10. They probably all want to score tries up the left-hand side of the field. On a park, the left winger. Oh, and he's through with a big step. He's got Hasler on the inside. Got a pass to Hasler, and Hasler's going to score. Oh, what a great run from the young fella. Superb individual football there. Western Suburbs paying for it the way they did on Wednesday night in the National Panasonic. The failure to cover the defence on the inside. Ian Freeman, who's played strongly up the middle of the ruts for Western Suburbs, was the man in question. Strikes that. The breeze has got it. Driven it away to the left. So the score, Manly 16. Western Suburbs 10. Craig Ellis. It's up. It's Fowler running from dummy half. They've got a bit of a roll on again. They're getting Manly running backwards. Last tackle coming up. On the quarter line, midfield. It goes back to Naden. Uh, and there's a drop kick at goal. It's successful. Yes, it is. That's not a bad kick. And, of course, that puts them within a try and a goal for a win. So Naden's... Uh, that's his third field goal this year. And it's not a bad kick either. He got it onto the boot very well. It's now a very important feed to the Manly side. Time to go. 
Hasler runs from dummy half, or from the base of the scrum. About five minutes to go. Vaughton goes for the long cutout pass to Shearer. Shearer steps, drives himself, gets a pass to O'Connor. O'Connor should score here. He will. Beautiful sidestep off the left foot. Right underneath the posts. And that would have to be the ball game. That great ability to run fast and change direction without decreasing his speed. Now Shearer's done a beautiful job on the inside. The ball actually touched Naden on the shoulder. Now watch Michael O'Connor. He's now in the process of making a, yet another fullback look pretty ordinary. And I don't blame Featherbridge at all. A great try, Graham Hughes. Super try, Dale Shearer is the man that certainly did well there. And it just so happens that all the tries that have been scored today have always come after that little bit of pressure where the teams have had the ball for two or three sets of six tackles. The conditions were just so hot, so much pressure. And the forwards, of course, plenty of gaps out wide because the players started to get worn down. Yes, indeed. Well, uh, that's uh, it's only just become a, uh, a certainty that Manly will win this game now. Up to one minute ago, there was no certainty. Cochran comes in and from a very adjacent position directly in front makes it 22 points to Manly, Western Suburbs 11. Well, this Western Suburbs side are capable of beating more sides than will beat them. And plenty to commend at this game, in the way of some splendid tries scored. Well, they're just passing it, nobody's going forward, Cogger. What a Craig Ellis and what a top tackle from Ron Gibbs. His defence today has been Excellent. Scott Chonk. Naden. Cogger. Lampkin. Daly comes over the top or tries to. Went past him. Cochran. Faller. Sherbert showing the ball to Chonk. There's where in injury time. There's the hooter right now. The kids come swarming onto the field. So it's been a win to the Manly side by 22 points to 11. Just a look at the scorers for the Manly side. Shearer, Ronson, Hasler and O'Connor have scored tries. This has been a Fox Sports production.